Hi. So um, for our What the Fuck is Wake the Talk Up videos, we're shifting up the format and um, the tech around it a little bit. And we have this great offering that we've made um, that you can download online and get into our email funnel if you want to find out more about Wake the Talk Up. And the video title is Eight Ways to Make Communication Your Strongest Asset. Is that the right title, Lauren? Eight ways to make, to make communication your greatest asset. Your greatest asset. And so in this um, next section of eight videos after this one, we're going to be talking about each of the eight ways um, and kind of the backstory behind them. And if you want to learn more about that, then you can watch um, our longer 20 minute video that describes the eight ways. And how to bring them into your life. More importantly, how to bring them into or your as, life. As importantly. Yeah. It's all important. And, and then if you really want to explore, learn, and integrate and practice all of these eight ways, you can take our Wake the Talk Up intensive course, which the next one we're starting is the date is um, May. May 7th. 7th. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And when you download that free video, the 20 minute one Alice is talking about, eight ways to make communication your greatest asset. You also receive all these incredible resources to support exploring the eight ways to make communication your greatest asset, like journaling prompts and resources to put up around your home, free resources from other folks. Um, so we're really excited to share. It's kind of like our greatest hits of Wake the Talk Up. Should we get into the eight ways, Allison? Yeah. Why don't you start with number one? Right. So the first way is to treat communication as a multi-dimensional process. Okay, great. And so number two is that um, you can notice how creating stories um, around observations makes your communication more difficult. Yeah. The third way we can make communication your greatest asset is to get clear on emotions and needs to see that they are windows into understanding. And the fourth way is that we can, to make communication our greatest asset, is that we can embrace that everything is contagious. Feelings, moods, states, words, they're all contagious. And the fifth way we can make communication our greatest asset is to know that amplifying our awareness increases choice. Yes, we can actually choose what we say and how we say it revolutionary it is has been for us at least <laughs> um so number six the sixth way that you can make communication your greatest asset is to claim your experience to create ownership agency and intimacy with self mm, we, we'll good. talk more about that it's a really good one it's a really really good one claim your experience rather than blaming it on someone else the seventh way we can make communication your greatest asset is to see that truth is fluid, flexible, personal, and infinite. That's another big one. Yeah, many different truths. And the eighth and final way for our purposes today that you can make communication your greatest asset is um, to remember that communication begins with you, not with your audience. Yeah, we're trying to figure out our own experience before we figure out how to talk to someone else. So that's it. For more, you can head over to the home of Wake the Talk Up, which is linked in um, our IG, in our Instagram link tree and a variety of other places um, and get everything that the eight ways to make communication your greatest asset has to offer. We hope to see you there.